Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Open Potato. This is Sim Airport. That's right. Potato International Airport has been born. This is the career mode uh, where we're going to be playing through. We're going to be trying to expand the airport. We're going to be trying to make as much money as we possibly can. If you're unfamiliar with the title Sim Airport, it is a strategy management type game. We have to build an airport, accept more planes, hire more staff, have a great amount of fun, and of course, uh, make money, uh, which is always quite important. Anyway, uh, jumping right on into things, we can see that at the moment we've got a decent amount of uh, we got a decent amount of money in the bank account at this moment in time. Uh, passengers, we don't actually have any passengers at this moment in time, but that's because we've just started, so have no fear. Uh, airline interest, we don't have any airline interest because, frankly, the airport isn't actually open at this moment in time. And we've also got a little bit of a, a little bit of what is that? A little bit of a west, you no know, easterly blowing wind. Sure, whatever. Uh, I wouldn't know an easterly blowing wind if it hit me in the face. Well, I suspect I would, but that's contingent upon me knowing my northeast, west, south, etc. Anyway, uh, that's kind of irrelevant to the uh, to the game. Let's jump into things and let's sort of speak about what we want to do. We've got the opportunity to build a whole bunch of facilities, which is what I'm definitely going to be doing uh, over the course of the next episode, or two, or three, or however many episodes this series takes. Uh, we can build some zones and zone some zones. We will indeed do that. Uh, we can also hire some staff, the staff that we've got access to at the moment. Uh, just regular staff, apparently. Security staff, workmen, janitors, chefs, and retail workers. That is grand. We've got a final finance hub, which is pretty cool, actually. We've got credit worthiness, uh, and we've got a corresponding credit report, which we can unlock. Uh, we can unlock some positive factors and some negative factors. We can lock more intel on our credit report as we go through the uh, the research tech tree. Uh, we've also got a uh, an ability to take out a bank loan. Again, that's contingent on our, on our credit, so, you know, we want to improve our credit as much as we possibly can. Uh, profit and loss and cash flow graph, neither of which are available at this moment in time. Airport value, etc. And some bonuses from having perfect operations. We've got a tech tree to go through here, which is kind of exciting. You can see that there's actually Quite a lot of um, there's quite a lot of uh, there's quite a lot of stuff to be researching. Researching just requires cash. Um, it's it's literally it's literally just straight up cash that we that we require in order to research. We can only research one thing at a time, and I don't believe that anything actually impacts our research speed. But yeah, we'll we'll get to that later. Uh, we've got a very very crucial panel down here: operations control. Uh, so commercial pricing, how much we're, we're charging basically for air aircraft to land on our runway. Terminal usage, how much you charge airlines to use your terminal per passenger. So that's something else that we want to consider. Intel on our runway. Uh, our runway is open, ready to go, but for a variety of reasons. We haven't accepted flights yet. We'll, we'll talk a little bit about that in a second. We've got fuel services. We don't have fuel services available at this moment in time. Uh, maintenance, you know, we can we can set up a maintenance schedule as well. And this is a, a maintenance for, for different type of uh, objects in our facility and we've also got a weather forecast which I frankly don't care about but probably as an airport operator I should care about uh, okay moving on we've got flight management now this is what I was alluding to earlier this is what we're gonna need to master in order to become masters of the sky or whatever uh, anyway we can accept different we can accept different airlines and it's actually probably worth noting that I have, I'll need to take this down a little bit. I have accepted, I've accepted, I've installed a couple of mods so we can actually get some real world airlines. So American Airlines, ANA, Air Canada, uh, what else, what else is real in here? JetBlue, JetBlue's a real airline. Uh, I think we've got Air France, Lufthansa, Delta, KLM, British Airways, etc, etc, etc. Anyway, each of these airlines have different requirements. They've got different times where they want to land. So, for example, American Airlines has got has got three different aircraft or three different... Uh, I should say, sorry, four different four different aircraft that want to land in the AM slot. Now, we can accept three of those. So we can accept the A320, the A320, and the 737. We cannot, we cannot take the 787 at this moment in time because our runway is not long enough. But there are three American airlines that we can that we can accept right now and uh, and we can queue them up in our in our landing 
in our landing schedule, which is exactly what we're going to do. We should probably filter to small, as that's what we can, as that's what we can take right now. Uh, I mean, rating. Does rating make a particular difference? I don't think so. I don't think that the signing difference, uh, the signing bonus, is different depending on the airline anyway. So I think what we're going to go and do is we are just straight up going to accept the A320, the A320, and the 737 as well, and then we will queue these guys up into our into our into our schedule look at that right now we only have one gate at this moment in time you can tell exactly what a gate is because i mean well it's a gate isn't it it's a gate there's a there's a lot of buildings in the terminal which we will talk about which we will talk about in detail but we're going to talk about them after we get ourselves sort of established because we basically have a whole day until flights start arriving so flights do not arrive on the first day only on the uh, only on the second day anyway so with the morning slot dispensed what do we want to care about uh, what do we want to care about what do we want to do i suspect that we probably want to get some afternoon flights scheduled do we want to stick with uh, with american airlines I guess so, to be honest. I guess so. Let's stick with American Airlines. We'll get some... I think that's... Is it pronounced Embraer? I think em Embraer 195. Yeah, we'll get a couple of those. We'll take, what, three? I think that we can actually probably manage a fourth. But that's absolutely fine. Two and three no we can actually only manage three that's fine and we don't have we don't have any flights or any airlines at the moment that are requesting a pm landing slot so that's totally fine bear in mind that we just have one gate at this moment in time as we scale up our gates i have no doubt that we're going to get many 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 more uh, many many more airlines and many many more flights landing at our airport so that's pretty darn exciting okay let's chat about what needs to be what needs to be said about the facilities inside the terminal so we've got our ticketing agent we've got hexar over here and we've got lurvb which i'm presuming are kickstarter names or, uh, or names that uh, names that are in the game because of their support for the title whilst it, whilst it was an early access. Uh, we've got the ticketing desk, which is the first point of contact really for uh, for passengers as they come in from this road right here. You can actually see arriving, departing. That is where they are going to vanish off into the, the middle of nowhere, and uh, and they're also going to come from passengers. That is, and passengers are going to come into the ticketing ticketing room. We've got a female restroom over here. We've got a male restroom over here. These are pre security checkpoint, and then we've got the security checkpoint. We've got Geo on the security over here. Uh, we've got Air Denmark on the security, and we've got Ben Hansen. <laughs> Air Denmark, right? That's a that's a real name. That is a name. Air Denmark. Okay, so Air Denmark is on the security. There is actually an overlay here, which is yeah, which is secure areas. So we can actually see that everything past the security checkpoint is the secure area, and we need to keep it that way because we don't want people sort of drifting in from the unsecured areas into uh, into the secured areas without going through the security checkpoint first. That's just not good. Not good. We want to make sure that everyone going on the plane has been scanned etc uh how do i get out of this mode i don't want to i don't want to be in this mode anymore let me add let me add to this mode video game where did the where did the, oh, it's, it's 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 dark it's so dark have i done something there we go okay great <laughs> we fixed it oh boy oh boy oh boy okay so we got plenty of money we got plenty of money i'm not worried about it even slightly as i say we're on day one we're gonna start getting we're going to start getting uh, airlines arriving on day two. Let's continue just tutorializing for the first little bit. I mean, you know, usually 10, 15 minutes at the start of the episode. I just highlight exactly how the game is played. Uh, and then we and then we play the game. Uh, flight status. This is going to start uh, populating tomorrow whenever that happens. We're at 11 o'clock in the morning at this moment in time. So that's totally fine. And then we've also got government grants. Now, we are going to be using the government grants fairly extensively. Now, the reason that I, in, or I say installed, the reason that I activated government grants for this playthrough is because I like to have something to aim for. I do like sort of an open-ended career mode, which is what this is. This is the career mode we're playing through. You know, there is it's not a scenario. It's not sandbox where we've got unlimited money. We've got, you know, we've got objectives. We've got mini objectives in the form of government grants. And, uh, and I feel like that's quite nice. So we've got five different categories to aim for passenger experience airline services investments airport efficiency and maximizing profits as you can see each of these each of these categories is it raining i think it might be raining a little bit yeah a little bit little bit wet here but that's okay 
Okay, so what do we want to try and shoot for first? What do we want to try and shoot for first? Maximizing profits, I like the look of. Uh, research a CFO. Research and hire a CFO to see the profit screen. Have a positive net profit at the end of a full day, excluding grants income. I mean, that seems completely fine, right? So payment up front, five grand, and we get a reward of 2,500. You know what? I will, I will, um, I will do that. Okay, so give me the five grand, and then we will get... We'll get 2.5 grand after we complete that. I believe, by the way, that we can accept two. I think that we can accept two grants, if I'm not mistaken. So perhaps getting one in, like, maximizing profits and one in, like, airport efficiency would be pretty good. Zone an electrical zone with amplifier. Place eight PA speakers. Sure, we can do that. No lost passengers. I mean, it's pretty difficult at this moment in time. Pretty difficult at this moment in time for uh, for passengers to get lost, but that's fine. And yeah, we cannot accept more than two grants at a time, so that's fine. So let's go into the research uh, tree and let's get that research. It's six o'clock in the evening. We're making grand progress, which is great. What did I say that we needed to get? Hire a CFO. All right, hire a CFO. Let's do this. And then let's also get... What was the other thing that I needed to research? I can't even remember. Goodness gracious me, my... Research technology and hire a CTO. Okay, so we can only actually research one thing at a time. But that is completely fine. We can just queue that up. So we got eight hours of finance research remaining, which is absolutely grand. Very, very happy with that. And we should end the day with a little bit more money than we started with, although not substantially. I'm not overly, not overly bothered about that at all. Nope, uh, I think that this is, I think that this is grand. There we go. The only thing that's not grand is the uh, is the spiciness of the music. Although that is grand, it's just, uh, it's just a little bit loud. Okay, so we got a couple of buses coming in here. Passenger buses run fairly regularly. I think they run actually on the hour, although you may have to correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Maybe they run slightly more regularly than that. Either way, it doesn't particularly matter. Once we actually have... Once we actually have uh, aircraft arriving at the airport, then that is going to be a much, 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 much better litmus test of how the airport is working than just staring at a, at a blank screen and watching nothing happen. Uh, we've got 21% airline interest at this moment in time, which is which is pretty nice actually. I mean, we've got plenty. We've got plenty of we've got plenty of airlines that are expressing an interest in landing. And to be honest, I feel like getting a secondary gate like straight away would be a completely a completely valid thing to do. So why don't we go into um, why don't we go into construction? And then we'll see if we can find a we'll see if we can find a gate. I'm looking for objects. Yep. Yeah. So this is a this is a gate A1 and it's very small at this moment in time. Aircraft gate small. That's pretty much what I'm after, isn't it? That is indeed video game what I'm after. So let's just throw that in there. Wonderful. Uh, we're going to get that built, or we're at least going to queue it up for, for building. So we're going to wait for the supply truck to arrive, and then we're going to wait for a couple of construction workers to start work on this. Good stuff. Like to see that. It's very, very nice indeed. So it sets us back a little bit of, a little bit of cash, but that's okay. Ooh, good stuff. Good stuff. We are actually getting a couple of passengers. I'm going to slow it right down so that we can actually see what the heck is happening. we got Chris over here who looks really strange. That is that is a very strange outfit. I, I don't really know what's up with these outfits. These are a bunch of really eclectic outfits. Is that, oh my good, what are the size of your, your shorts, your pants, your trousers? Look at the size of those, they're huge. Absolutely mahoosive, absolutely mahoosive, son. Okay, no worries though, no worries. We're gonna get this small gate up and, up and running pretty darn soon. Uh, I dare say that we may want to get ourselves like, well, we'll need to get another gate agent desk because that is the, that is a desk that is specifically assigned to the gate. So we're gonna need to get ourselves another one of, uh, another one of these. We might as well place it right now, right? We're also going to need to get a sliding door over here as well, right? Right, doors, give me a, give me a door. I also want to get some shops. Shops seem like a really, really good way to harvest cash from people that are in my airport. What am I looking for? Agent... Agent gate desk. Cool. Alright, so we'll just put this, like, what, here? Right in there. We'll get ourselves a sliding glass door. Just a regular sliding door is fine, thanks. We'll queue it up. We'll queue it up. 
Do we want a moving walkway yet? No. I tell you what I do want to get though. I do want to get some uh, some benches. Some benches do seem do seem appropriate for this area. You know, you know, in an airport, usually there's just like a huge bunch of these like really really samey looking benches. Yeah, we're gonna go for that. We're gonna go for that. We're gonna give it a shot. Right, 52% or 53% of the way through construction. That's fine. We could accelerate this construction, by the way, if we wanted to get some more construction dudes, but I don't really feel the need to do that. When's our flight going to be arriving? Let's check the flight status report. Right, so American Airlines 639, so 737, is arriving at 6 a.m. It is just, just about 5 in the morning, so that's cool. We got 22 passengers that are going to wait for... Or that are going to want to board that 737, which is totally fine. What's up? Requires at least one gate edge agent desk to be assigned. Don't worry, I'm on it. Don't even worry about it, video game. I am well ahead of the curve on this one. In fact, I can't wait until it's daytime when our aircraft is going to arrive. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's going to be... It's going to be good, actually. It's going to be good. We're going to see our first ever aircraft landing. Uh, there, it, it happened right there. Excellent. And look at it. Look at it. It looks... It looks good. I really like the way that it looks. It's turning into the gate now. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, very, very, very happy with that. Very, very, very happy with that. So, each plane has got a, uh, a different list of sort of objectives, I guess you could say. Oh, look, here's the little stair wagon. There we go, affixing to the side of the aircraft. And so, here's what's going to happen. The, the, uh, the Boeing 737 needs to first deplane and clean. As you can hear it, hear it spooling down there. Uh, then the baggage is going to be unloaded by this individual, I think, in a golf cart. A workman. Tuma the, Tuma the cat. Okay. Then the baggage has got to be unloaded, which apparently he has already done. And then the new baggage has got to be loaded, and the flight has to be boarded. Boarding, I suspect, will take the longest time. But so far, nothing... Nothing untoward has uh, has occurred. Uh, a refuel chance. Refuel chance is at 0%. Now, that is, of course, hopefully going to increase. But it's going to increase only after we get the appropriate technology. Because we need technology in order to... Why is that flashing? That is really irritating. Uh, we need uh, we need the technology in order to in order to allow us to do... Uh, to do things such as uh, refueling aircraft. So, that's cool. Alright. Can I... Why are we not able to get out the sliding door here? Keep loading, keep loading, keep loading. Where's the where's the bagage? 100% boarded. Did we get the did we get the uh, the bags loaded? I don't know if we did, but that is absolutely okay. Runway usage American Airlines 400 bucks coming our way. Excellent. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And that's going to head off into the ether over there. So that's good. So that's good. So we made a decent, decent, decent chunk of change from that aircraft. Was it enough to break even? Not really. I mean, we'll have a little look. We'll have a little look at exactly how much it costs at the end of the day. What's the issue here? We have a staff issue. You need one more. Oh, yes. We need one more to run. There we go. Hire one more member of staff for the gate agent desk. We're going to assign it to this gate right over there. We're going to stop that irritating flashing, which is grand. And everyone is happy, actually. Yeah, so that's really, really good. Now, keep in mind that that was just the first flight of, what, six over the course of, uh, over the course of today that we're going to see. So that's great. That's really, really good. And if that was profitable, then, uh, then I'm feeling good about that. So the next flight is going to arrive at... It's going to arrive at 10 a.m. Are you telling me that we were able to turn that aircraft around in less than an hour? That's obscene. That's absolutely obscene. And it actually makes me think slightly slightly more optimistically about my chances of being able to... Um, of being able to... Being able to make money. I feel like maybe I should try and get a few more... Yeah, maybe I should try and squeeze a few more flights into here. Let's leave, what, like one and a half hours? Now, I think that this is only going to update after a day. But I think we'll leave like one and a half hours. One and a half hours for each flight. And if we're able to do this... Yeah, 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 I know. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Sure, all good. Squeeze another flight in here in the morning. Excellent. Okay. So this is maybe... This is maybe playing with fire, but... 
I'm I'm happy to play with fire if it's gonna if it's gonna net me perhaps an extra bit of cash. So that's two extra flights. All American Airlines apparently. American Airlines are starting to trust me, which is great. Pretty happy about that to be honest. What does that mean for us? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Presumably, the more trust, the more we can actually more we can actually make. One or more accepted flights is not scheduled yet. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Great. Okay, so we've got our next flight arriving at 10 a.m. Because again, you know, we haven't uh, we haven't updated we haven't updated the flight plan, or we don't have an updated flight plan running today. We got the updated flight plan running tomorrow. Why don't I see if I can accept? I'm going to accept every single flight. I'm going to accept every single flight from Air Canada. That's right. Air Canada, yes please, let's freaking go. You know what? I'm optimistic as well that I'm just going to be able to run these flights super, super close to one another. Uh, is that by any chance the maximum number of flights that I can actually take on any given day? Yeah, you must build an ACT, an ATC tower to accommodate more than 10 flights per day. Well, that's a great idea. Why don't we see if we can try and build an ATC tower? I don't actually think that I'm going to be able to build an, AC, an ATC tower. Uh, must be placed in a secured area outdoor only. Invalid placement. I mean, is this a secure area? It doesn't look like a particularly secure area, to be honest. I mean, it says that we can build it. We require 10 steel, 25 concrete, and 5 paint. Oh, that's a rumble. That's a rumble in my right ear. Do I hear a do I hear a flight arriving? It's uh an American Airlines something something something. Brilliant. Either way, good to see. Very, very good to see indeed. Now, I wanna just keep on I wanna just keep on spending cash here, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend I'm gonna spend big. I'm gonna build the ATC tower like right behind right behind here. I'm kind of thinking maybe we can expand, you know, the the terminal building sort of along along through the the sort of eastern corridor, I should say. We can also build multiple floors by the way. I should add that we can build we can build up uh, and we will continue to build up. So we will absolutely do that. Uh, not assigned to baggage depot. Yeah, it's not assigned to baggage depot because we don't actually have a baggage depot. We want to automate our baggage collection and that's stuff that we can definitely do and we will do. But, uh, but it's not something that we can do at this moment in time. Right. Also, the pickups, the pickup situation is, I mean, it's bad. It looks pretty atrocious. There's not even pavement around this, uh, around this flipping road. It's a bit of a disgrace, to be honest. But the good news is, is that the American Airlines flight was able to head off, take off pretty darn quickly. Yeah, we are, you know, we are, we are in a little bit of a, a cash negative situation, but that's completely fine. Again, I don't really feel the need to hire extra construction workers. I feel like our construction work needs to be needs to be measured, it needs to be controlled, it needs to be thought through. And if I buy any more construction workers, that's just an excuse for me to build, you know, super darn super darn uh, extravagantly, and I don't really want to do that. Flipping it, this rain is very very loud, isn't it? That's okay. That's fine. I think that we can tolerate that for just a second. Right. As I say, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. How flippin' quickly was that? Let me look at flight status here. Yeah, literally on each and every occasion, we have turned the flight around in less than an hour. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. The fact that the flights don't actually wait until departure time before taking off is really, really good, but also like highly unrealistic. I feel like airlines would do that. Wind conditions are worsening. What happens when the wind conditions sufficiently worsen to the point of not being able to not being able to take any aircraft? Consider upgrading your runways to increase maximum allowed crosswind tolerances. Hmm. Okay, so I guess that the crosswind, the max crosswind is 12 kilo something? 12 knots? Kilo something. 12 knots. Okay, so the max crosswind is 12 knots, and we're at 20 knots at this moment in time. So a crosswind is is a wind that blows on the north-south axis, or the south-north axis. Same thing, really, when you think about it. Uh, but yeah, so we don't we don't want that. We've got a north a northwesterly wind here, which is less than ideal. Yeah, not good, not good at all. So we're probably going to want to get a backup runway just to make sure that issues like this don't really happen. Because although we've been kind of lucky with our flights so far, I'm sure that you know. One delay is going to end up causing uh, a massive pain in the backside for us. Yeah. 
So the runway is active now because the, the crosswind has really, really slowed down, which is uh, which is great. I also feel like I'm sincerely like undercharging my commercial customers. Passengers, passengers are happy. Passengers are happy. Well, I say they're happy. Passengers are n not exactly unhappy. They're unsatisfied about the environment, they're unsatisfied about hunger, and they're unsatisfied about the amount of information that they receive. I mean, we should probably just be doing more research to try and get this sorted, right? We've got an HTC tower now, which is grand. Can I accept more... Can I accept more information uh, or more flights from Air Canada, please? Thank you very much. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's see if we can try and plumb that into the, into the schedule. Don't even worry about it, video game. Look at this. Look at this turnaround time. Look at this turnaround, turnaround time. This is excellent. How many flights can we fly at a max at this moment? Uh, I don't actually know. American Airlines. I'll take, I'll take American Airlines. American Airlines, trust me. Which is great. Communication. Hire sales reps who will communicate via email to the airline from their offices. Email has limited effect on the score. To get this down further, build conference rooms for face-to-face -face meetings. Okay. Cool. All right. We want to improve our relations with all of the airlines that we currently have uh, operating out of our airport. You know, I'm definitely, definitely happy to do that. We'll just try and appease American Airlines and, uh, and Air Canada. Cool. All right. Looking good so far. Our research is coming along nicely. We have the ability to hire a CFO, which is what we are absolutely going to do. We go into Finance Hub, I think. In fact, it might even be staff. Yeah, it's staff. Excellent. Okay, so manage admin. We've got a sales rep. Assign sales reps to airline uh, relations to improve communication and trust. Yes, I do. I do want that. I do want that. Has no bonus negotiation abilities. That's completely fine. Can increase the amount that the airline is willing to pay in negotiations. It's going to cost us 375 bucks an hour, and it's going to cost us an initial outlay of 12 and a half grand. But frankly, I'm okay with that. Cool. All right. Do I have an office for you to work? I presume that you'll need an office to work. I'm just making the assumption here. I'm just making the assumption. Do we need an admin? Do we need an admin area? I feel like we absolutely do need an admin area. I guess the area over here is is kind of empty at this moment in time, so I guess let's I guess let's go for that. Um, I do want to you know just cool. Nice. Okay, great. Well, I'm, I'm glad to see that that's ongoing. Uh, I have just expanded my airport fairly substantially. I am actually going to buy a couple of additional workmen. One, two, three, four. Let's get four more. So it's going to increase our, our outlay, but that's completely fine. Janitorial staff. I do want to. I do want to improve my janitorial staff as well. Speaking of, how are we doing? Maximizing profit. Research and hire a CFO to see the profit screen. Have a positive net profit at the end of the full day, excluding grants income. I mean, we're not exactly. We're not exactly going to be profitable. I don't think. Let's have a little look at the finance hub. Profit and loss requires a CFO with an office. Okay, so <laughs> the CFO does need an office before he's able to start working. All right. All right. I mean, look, that makes sense. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. That makes perfect sense. I uh, I understand and I sympathize, video game. Offices are, you know, generally important places to work. Although I will say that I think that that effect has been countered somewhat recently by, uh, by the big old... By the big old malware situation. The human malware situation that is, uh, that is going around. All right. So good thing that I hired the extra staff to to build this building because this is going to take a little a little while. Uh, can I zone an office? How big does an office need to be? It just requires a fully a fully enclosed space. I mean, four by four. I guess four by four is is fine, right? It may very well transpire uh, as not a large enough. As not a large enough place, but that's fine. We can always we can always deal with that later. 
Uh, I gotta get a door. A staff door. Yeah, let's get a staff door. Let's stick a staff door in right about there. Wonderful. And then we'll just wait for these guys to finish constructing here. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to build a wall, actually. Can I deconstruct... Can I deconstruct the wall, please? Yeah, just, uh... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine there. Just don't build the wall in the center of the... In the center of the room, please. That'd be excellent. And then we can just rebuild this wall around here. Cool. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Looking very, very good. We'll wait until the project is well and truly finished, because flipping neck it's taken a little, a little while. Grand. Assign airline exclusivity office. I don't want uh, an airline exclusivity office. To offer this facility to an airline, you first need to negotiate them. Um, I don't want an airline exclusivity office. I, I don't want that at all. Is it, This is an office zone. What about if I just find myself... Uh, what about just a regular office? What about just a regular, a regular old office? Is that not, is that not possible? Requires enclosed space. Okay, well, I, I just want a place for my CE, my CFO to work. It's literally that simple. It's literally that simple, video game. Okay, door right in there. Excellent. Okay, we need an office chair. We need what? An office, uh, office chair. Brilliant. Let's just hope that it works. Office chair, office desk. Sure, what else did we need? That's it. That's actually it. Requires an enclosed space. Definitely feel like this is enclosed space, unless we need to build a roof. Which we don't need to do. Okay, we got an office, and our CFO just automatically moved in. Okay, well that's excellent. So we don't need to worry about the airline exclusivity stuff. That's, that's fine. Uh, bigger, bigger... Bigger offices with windows are, are definitely good. In fact, you know, we could get a window. We could get a window in here. Who wants to look out at the road? Let's let's get you to look out at the uh, at the at the runway. That sounds kind of cool. All right, the ATC tower is looking good. It's looking mighty, mighty, mighty fine. Before we get to tomorrow, uh, which we're actually quite close to, I actually just want to hire a couple of additional staff. I want to hire. Do I want to hire actually? Do I want to hire additional staff? I'm th I'm thinking who is it that drives the who is it that drives the wee buggy to unload the baggage? Is it the workman? If it's the workman, then I think we'll be we'll be totally totally fine. Because I was thinking that we need to get another another uh, another workman or another couple of another couple of people that are able to drive the buggies to collect the baggage. Wind conditions are worsening. Mm, don't like that. Don't like that at all. The crosswind is supposedly increasing, but it doesn't look like it's increasing. That's fine. Either way, can we now can we now access the CFO screen? Hey, look at this. Profit and loss. Profit and loss. Brilliant. We got a cash flow graph. What did what did we need to get? We need to get positive cash flow at the end of the day in order to uh, in order to achieve the mission from the government. Oh, you can see that 50%. Research and hire a CFO in the profit screen. Have a positive net profit at the end of a full day, excluding grants income. Okay, do we want to see if that we're if we're capable of uh, of doing that? I think we kinda do. I think we kind of do want to see if we're capable of doing that. Uh, research technology, hire a CTO, zone an electrical zone with amplifier. Okay, well, we've actually researched technology, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, technology's been researched. Why don't we research operations? Allows hiring a construction foreman. I don't know what that does, but uh, let's let's go into operations since it is slightly cheaper. It costs us six grand as opposed to 22 grand. Let's also, whilst the whilst the mood strikes me. Let's get ourselves an office. Let's get ourselves a wall over here. And we'll see if we can get ourselves a door as well. Still not entirely sure where doors are situated, but that's okay. It's in objects apparently. There we go. Okay, now I am confident that I know where doors are situated. Excellent. So that office is going to be in there. We'll get ourselves a office desk 
and a chair. It's just easier to search, to be honest. Brilliant. All right, looking looking real good, and we will also hire a CTO. Chief Technology Officer. Allows you to research technology-related upgrades and provides access to objects such as public address systems and other improved technological objects. Brilliant. Congratulations. Welcome on board. Okay. We've spent a fairly substantial amount of money. What the heck is this? It's a UFO? Failed to reserve runway. But it's an Air Canada. It's an Air Canada plane. It's not a UFO. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's just Air Canada. <laughs> okay. Um, fine, I guess. Also, what the heck is going on here? What is this disgusting mess that the Air Canada passengers have seemingly left? That is unacceptable. Let me hire some janitors to, to, clean, up, to clean up this mess. Five janitors. Let's go. Maybe we should get some bins. I feel like we should get some bins. That seems... Let's get some bins. One, two, three. Canadians are usually super duper polite and nice. But on this occasion, I have been... I have been proved... I have been proved incorrect. 500 bucks for a garbage bin. Really? Let's also see if we can get some more benches, eh? Let's get some more, uh, some more benches. What do we use? Bench C? Fine. So this provides the rest characteristic, I believe, for the for the passengers. Okay, can't see through that. It's a bit of a problem, but that's fine. Okay, so the UFO, hopefully we've been able to identify it now. Hopefully, here's hoping. Anyway. Are we are we able to When are you scheduled for departure? You're scheduled for departure at 7:30. Looks like you'll be able to looks like you'll be able to manage. Failed to reserve runway. I mean, oh flippin' heck. I hope somebody, I hope somebody is keeping, keeping tabs on the, uh, the aircraft that are landing here. Okay, it's good. That, that's good. We can only, we only have, we only have one aircraft on the runway at once. That's a, that's a good sign. I was a little bit worried that perhaps we would see, we would see aircraft sort of, uh, you know, colliding in midair or something. Either way, not something that I want to see. CTO officer. Excellent. So our CTO should be able to chill out over there. Love to see it. And look at this. We've got another UFO coming in here. Missing aircraft config. All right. Air Canada, you're flying UFOs. I'm not happy about it. I, I hope that that changes. I hope that that's fixed, but fine. Uh, the good news is, the good news is, is that it doesn't seem like we've got any issues, to be honest. Not at all. Uh, also, one thing that I want to consider, do we have baggage drop-off? Uh, we've got baggage carousel. A baggage depot, a baggage hub. We can do all of this stuff. We can do all of this stuff, and, uh, and dare I say, we should do some of this stuff check their baggage. Okay, so the baggage is checked at the ticketing desk. Okay, I thought that that was the case. I just wanted to make absolutely sure because what I think happens is that the is that the workman delivers the delivers the baggage in the golf cart by driving up to the door. Doesn't actually need to drive outside. But then the baggage is just loaded so quickly that the plane just departs. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it and see what the heck happens. No? Okay, apparently not. Not yet, anyway. Also, the sheer number of golf carts that are driving through this uh, through this airport leads me to believe that there's probably going to be a collision. A passenger golf cart collision at some point. Okay, so far no intel on the baggage load. But again, that might just be... Yeah, okay, so here's what's happening. It's the, the baggage is definitely being loaded, being loaded by the golf cart, which has sort of disappeared out of, out of space over here. I don't actually know what happened there. But that's okay. Uh, the point that I was trying to make is that the baggage is checked so unbelievably quickly that the plane is immediately ready to depart as soon as the baggage is loaded. So that's completely fine. Uh, do I need to do something about the fact that the runway is not being reserved by a specific aircraft? I don't think I do. 
I will say that I am very, very happy with the turnaround time for each and every aircraft here. Yeah, it's looking really, really good. Our CTO is in the office. Mark Hubin. CFO Red. That's a very, very lame name for a CFO, but that's fine. Man, this is looking good. It's looking good. It's looking good. Everything is looking everything is looking fantastic from what I can see. We got a brand new big area over here, which is which is grand. What I want to see is am I able to turn a profit at the end of the day? Am I able to turn a profit at the end of the day? I uh, I just don't know. The other thing that I want to see is uh, am I going to get the the uh, the system zone and zone and electrical zone with amplifier and place eight PA speakers? Run many of your airport wires too? I mean, sure. Minimum size of four by four. Does it need to be enclosed? I don't think it. Okay, it needs to be enclosed. Ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me. Okay, let's get get some walls over here. And a door. Excellent. Uh, so we'll zone that, and we'll stick in an amplifier here. A PA amplifier. PA amplifier HD. Let's just go for a regular PA amplifier. Sure, and then we'll place eight PA speakers. So PA speakers. A two-way PA speaker. I mean, if I need to place eight down, I mean, do I really need eight down, for goodness sake? That seems a little bit obscene, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, we did it. We absolutely did it. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. So that gets us, that gets us a grant completed and also allows us to progress onwards, which is, uh, which is pretty darn nice. Now, 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 now. Oh, this is a double, a double American, a double club, a double American Airlines arrival. Why is that the case? I don't think it should be. Oh, I guess it is. Okay, I guess it's just towards the evening where we have uh, we have double uh, double arrivals. Some airlines are more cost sensitive than others. I mean, look, I feel like I could bump my prices. I, I feel like I'm not charging anywhere near enough. What's what's American American Airlines relationship with me? I feel like I can. I feel like I can I can do this. Uh, can increase the amount the airline is willing to pay in negotiation. Let's assign. Let's assign both of the reps to working on improving communication and trust with the uh, with the airline. Yeah, I think that that's what we're after, to be honest. Communication. Yeah, we'll need to get a conference room. We'll need to get a conference room somewhere. Current deal negotiate. So we basically just want to see if we can try and negotiate uh, negotiate a better deal. Needs at least 40% interest to negotiate with you. I mean, we're working on it, right? Airline interest. Look at this. Look at this. Communication. Communication is flipping increasing. That's that's good to see, isn't it? You know what? Let's bump let's bump this up. Let's bump it up to like 700 bucks. Terminal usage. Let's bump that up to like 35 bucks. Save new prices. If it torpedoes, if it torpedoes the airline interest, if it torpedoes American Airlines uh, opinion of me, if it torpedoes their trust of me, then so be it. I I will I will accept that. But the fact of the matter is, is that I feel like uh, I feel like we're being we're being ripped off. Must be assigned to a PA speaker. No issues whatsoever. Okay, we can actually only assign four. We can actually only assign four speakers to one amplifier, which seems a little bit obscene to me. It seems a little bit obscene. I don't really feel the need to get another amplifier at this moment in time. So you know what? I'm just gonna leave everything else unconnected. That's yeah, totally fine. Right. Let's see if we can try and be be profitable today. That's what I'm gonna shoot for. I'm gonna try and be be profitable. Right. It's the morning. It's the morning. 
So, $184,000 is, is what we have at this moment in time. Now, maximizing profits. Have a positive net profit at the end of the day, excluding grants income. Okay, so we need to have more, basically, than $184,000 at the close of play today. Is that possible? Yes, it's possible. Very, 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 very doable. We have far too many janitors, by the way, for our for our current airport size. You know what? You're about to fire two workers, and that's gonna cost me it's gonna cost me two thousand four hundred bucks. Man, that sucks. Okay, you know what? It's just cheaper to keep the janitors employed. I can I can just about live with that. Okay, the PA speakers, it's looking fine. I don't know why people are arriving at 3 o'clock in the morning for a flight which will not arrive until 9 a.m. That's the first flight. That's the first flight of the day. 9 a.m., that's the slot. That's fine. Also, I should note that I can almost certainly increase the, uh, increase the time that I'm allowed to fly aircraft in and out of my airport. I probably just need to do some research. And the reason that I haven't done any research yet is because we're still waiting for a... Uh, we're still waiting for a final a final financial report on the, the day in order to fulfill that grant money. Because that grant money is going to set me right up. Okay, passengers. Passengers are fine. 700 bucks. Wow, we are making a lot of money. Terminal usage is through the roof. That's excellent. Can I just make sure that the, the airlines don't absolutely hate me? They like me a lot, actually. Commercial fees. 42% impact on satisfaction. Flippin' heck. This is looking good. We are communicating hardcore with American Airlines right now. Oh, it is gonna be easy to turn a profit today. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! I mean, look, let's look at the profit and loss statement, shall we? In the finance hub. Look at this. We are definitely, definitely, definitely going to be profitable for the first time in, in what feels like a while. Credit score is is okay. I mean, we haven't taken out a bank loan yet, which is great. Uh, and frankly, seems strange, given the fact that it's me playing the game, and I do indeed like my, like my bank loans. But that's okay. Look at that green line. Look at that green line. Perfect ops bonus. Did I... Oh, I made... I made money. I made money from from having a perfect operation. I've never had a perfect operation before. I, I'll be honest, though. I, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And to be honest, it doesn't seem like uh, American Airlines or Air Canada are particularly bothered about the fact that they have to pay a huge amount of money at this moment in time anyway. American Airlines especially, yeah, commercial fees, the impact the runway fees and the terminal fees has on the airline satisfaction. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, Air Canada's a little bit miffed about it, but that's because I'm not really, I'm not really trying to, trying to, trying to push my relationship with them. I'm only pushing my relationship with, uh, with American Airlines at the moment, which is fine. I mean, it seems like, it seems like boarding, unloading, baggage handling, it's all happening smoothly. I mean, so much so that we've got plenty of extra space, plenty of extra capacity on our runway. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. A second runway would be good, uh, just in case of this crosswind situation uh, developing. Uh, we don't like we don't like crosswinds around here. No, sorry, no, we do not. We don't like rain either. But look at that! Look at that! Absolutely no issue there whatsoever. Absolutely no issue there whatsoever. I feel like maybe we could try and cut out some of the staff, but, uh, but that's fine. That is completely fine. I will say the other thing that we need to consider, the, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the ops screen. Yeah, the, the runway usage income is not particularly big. The terminal usage income is where the, the real money is made. The runway usage is, is not there at all. Let's bump it up. Let's bump it up to 50 bucks, shall we? Bump it up to 50 bucks. I presume that Air Canada is gonna is gonna balk at the idea of paying that much money. It might not even take effect until tomorrow, but that's fine. Also, something else that I should consider. I can accept a brand new American Airlines flight and just pump it in here. American Airlines, by the way, absolutely my preferred way to fly. At this moment in time. There we go. So cram that in just a little bit more. Everything is looking good. We've got 
pretty much a perfect operation. Pretty much a perfect operation going. Okay, so let's see if we're able to hold on to this profit until the close of play today. Uh, it's worth bearing in mind. It is very, very, very much worth bearing in mind that I am going to continue to spend money uh, over the course of the evening on like stuff like staff wages and stuff. Uh, but there is no, there is no way that we can make any more income for the rest of the evening because all of our flights have already left for the day. So, I mean, look, I still think that we're going to be able to stay profitable. It's probably going to be a, a bit of a close run thing. Daily expenses, 28,000. Daily income, 55,000. Yeah, I mean, the crosswind doesn't particularly matter at this moment in time. Either way, we just need to be profitable for a single day and, uh... And that'll get us across the line in terms of the government maximizing profits grant. It's literally that simple. It's literally that simple, and you love to see it. You really do. Okay, I really do wish I could stick it into more than this level of speed. Also, I need to go into the research panel, because as soon as... As soon as... As soon as we're done with the day, I want to see if we can try and... Land expansion. I want to get more... I want to get... I want to get more planes. I want to fly more planes. Operations 2. Allows management of bus garbage. Multi-lane access. Longer... No upgraded buses. Aviation ops. Maybe I just need... Allows you to configure gate-related option. Requires a COO with an office. Oh, we don't actually have a COO at this moment in time. Okay, well, we can get ourselves a COO. Did we fulfill the grant money, by the way? Maximizing profits? We absolutely did. Hire a VP of finance, research lower income tax, level one. Pay off any loans. We don't have any loans at this moment in time. We should accept two more grants, by the way. Have at least two runways with 20, 20 kilotons wind resistance. No, 20 knot wind resistance. Honestly, something that we should probably do. Hire a VP of finance is not a bad idea. Assign at least one rep to each three airlines. Have at least 12 flights scheduled. Build a runway with wind resistance of, uh, of 15, 15 knots. I don't want to do that at this moment in time. Hire at least two janitors. Place 10 litter bins. Get the PAX environment satisfaction of at least 60%. What is the PAX environment satisfaction? In fact, we will complete that literally immediately. Place 10 litter bins. Oh, whoops, my bad. I, uh, I forgot. Litter bins. We need more. Litter. It's not actually a litter bin. It's just a bin. It's In fact, it's a garbage bin. Okay. Good stuff. There we go. And an extra 12 grand just like that. Okay, so that is really, really nice. A lot of our, a lot of our missions are sort of contingent on... Ah, I see what we need. We need we need runway lights. Allow for night operations at the end of the runway. Maximum crosswind of tolerance is also increased. Okay, you know what? Let's go. Let's go for this. Where the heck do I get this? Runway PAI must be close to the runway. Blocks runway descent path. What the heck is this? ILS instrument landing system allows larger planes. I mean, that sounds like something that we need. We need to get runway lights too. Must be properly aligned with the runway. I mean, I want to extend the runway, to be honest. Um, like, that is something that I definitely want to do. Where do I want to extend it, though? I mean, we've got a whole bunch of extra land. We've got a whole bunch of extra land that we want to, that we want to try and expand into. Airport efficiency, airline services, maximizing profits, passenger experience... Investments. Perhaps investments is just it. Research finances. Accept a, uh, a new loan. Build an office and assign a CFO to it. I don't want to, to take on a loan. Not at this moment in time. Have at least two runways with 20, 20 knot resistance. I mean... Sure. I guess we'll take on this. Have at least two runways with 20 knot resistance. We'll take that on board. That's fine. Have 600 passengers at once. I don't need to do that. Wow, we are rolling in the money, by the way. We are absolutely rolling in the money. Where the heck do I do I want to put my secondary runway? Because I am going to need to get a second runway. And we're also going to want to make sure that we... That we get the, the expansion things for the runway. Yeah. 
we have a limit of one. We have a limit of one, so only one runway can actually do night takeoffs. I mean, that's fine. I want to extend the runway as well, but I really feel like that's not entirely necessary at this moment in time. Okay, you know what? Give me give me the, the lights there. That's fine. Um, let's also see if we can try and get a, a runway, like, over here. I mean, presumably, can we get them to cross? Requires intersection. It is entirely possible that we can we can get them to cross, but, I mean, there's no reason to necessarily get them to cross at this moment in time. Too short for all aircraft. I mean, how long is this one at the moment? Because I, I, I really want a runway that's about this size. 90 tile length? Okay, you know what? Let's build... Let's build a 90 tile length runway right here. But let's leave room for expansion at either end. That's going to cost me $90,000. And that's instantly built? Oh, okay. If you insist, video game. That's that's wonderful. Uh, taxiway. Let's get a taxiway over there. Wonderful. Do I need to get... Do I need to get taxiway off at this side? I suspect that I probably do. Yeah, we'll do something like that. I mean, it's not exactly perfect. In an ideal world, I think I'd like to perhaps leave a little bit more room for expansion, but these runways can both be extended sort of north and also south, so that would be good. That would that would be very, very good. Now, can I get can I get this runway upgraded? Okay, in fact it's not finished construction quite yet. We're still we're still working on construction. I don't actually know how I can tell how far along my workers actually are. But that's fine. I did I did rather take a, a little bit of a financial pounding there, but that's okay. Research finance, accept a new loan to finance construction. I guess, to be honest, accepting a new loan to finance construction is pretty easy to do. We can just accept like a really, really small loan, right? Estimated interest, 0 0.5 to 1. Sure. Interest rate, 0 0.96. I'll accept that, sure. And that gives us that gives us a huge amount of money. Uh, repay repay the twenty five thousand loan. Excellent. Does that improve my credit score? Probably not. Otherwise, you'd be able to cheese the system by just taking out loans and then repaying them pretty much instantly. Uh, fuel services. I would like. I would very 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 much like to be able to. I would very much like to be able to deliver fuel to some of the planes that are landing at my airport. That would be nice. But unfortunately, I don't think I don't think that that's going to be possible at this moment in time. Right, the runway the runway is pretty much ready to go. Requires at least one taxiway connected on both ends. Don't even worry about it. Let's get some runway lights here. Okay, runway lights must be properly aligned with the runway. All right, it's going to have to go up at this end here, apparently. Sure, I don't actually understand how that works, but okay, we can we can get the lights over there. Uh, so the fact that we've got the lights up and running on at least one runway should mean that we're able to accept night flights. Yeah, look at this, PM flights. I don't know how we get early morning flights, but look, that's entirely possible. American Airlines, do you not want a, do you not want an early morning flight? Apparently not. Who can we accept then? JetBlue. JetBlue are very very keen for. Very, very keen for evening flights, apparently. I mean, who am I? Who am I to decline? Who am I to decline JetBlue? I'm a nobody. You're gosh darn right, I'm a nobody. All right. Let's, let's go. One, two, oh, that's irritating. Three, four, five. All right, whatever. Yeah, reduce that. We're going to cram these right in here. Brilliant. Okay, so that is... That is it. There we go. And more JetBlue, please. So JetBlue is going to be the evening... The evening aircraft... Or evening airline... That will that will fly from our 
from our fly from our gates. Wonderful. Jet blue and also what? I don't know, like Pacific Airlines? Service reliability? Oh my god. Okay, I don't I don't want to faff around with this, but sure. Give me a give me a Pacific Airlines flight. Just one though, just one. I don't want to mess with Pacific Airlines too too much. Right, what's the issue? One of the accepted flights is not yet scheduled yet. I beg to differ. I beg, 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 beg to differ. Right, well, I think, I think that we are ready. Precision approach? Uh, I tell you what, if I get a precision approach thingamabobber, passengers may not be able to get to your airport or back home due to low transport capacity. Uh-oh, that might be a problem. Oh my giddy aunt. Look at the number of, look at the number of passengers we have here. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, get a, get a couple of extra ticketing desks. Get two additional ticketing desks. Let's assign this to a high priority project. Urgent priority project. Urgent priority project. Excellent. The fact that we got a second runway, frankly, it's not really that useful. I think that we've still got plenty of capacity from just the one runway for the two gates that we've got at this moment in time. So that's grand. Um, but let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we can do with regards to... With regards to the ticketing gates. Yeah. Because we don't want people to miss their flights. Yeah, that's a big old... A big old sad... Big old sad situation if that does indeed happen. I, I was going to check out the grants just real quick. Because airport efficiency... Have two runways with at least 20 kilotons of wind resistance. I, I just like the idea of saying kilotons, to be honest. From 12 to 20, from 12 to 15. Okay, we got to go for runway ILS then, don't we? Sure, runway ILS on both uh, on both areas there. Let's get this done as quickly as possible, and that should give us the the grant monies. I have no idea what it actually is that we're gonna that we're gonna get. I guess we'll see, right? Build that. Build this. How much money is going to be coming our way? It is... Nothing. What's the wind resistance here? Max crosswind is 20, yeah. Research upgraded buses. Ah, uh, re you video game, you tricked me. What do we need? We need more, I think we need more staff. We need two more staff. I like how it tells you how many more you need. It's very, very handy. What is this? Bag scanner requires repair. It cannot be completed. Uh, I didn't realize that I had a bag scanner. Bag scanner requires repair. Enable repair override. Because there's no toolboxes available. Okay, so we need a toolbox then. That's what you're telling me. Toolbox locker. Sure, stick it down over there, I guess. That's completely fine. <laughs> Completely fine. Just throw it down. Okay, let's get buses researched as swiftly as we possibly can. Security staff. At least one security staff at the end of the scanner. Yeah, why the heck is this not happening? Disable repair override. Uh-oh. This is where things start to go very, very swiftly south. You can, you can feel the things starting to go swiftly south. Look, before things do go south... Give me research. Give me research for buses. Where's buses? Bus research. Where the heck is bus research? Am I going absolutely crazy? No, I have no idea. No idea where bus research is. Research upgraded buses for extra capacity. Uh, yeah, research for buses. Upgraded buses. Oh my gosh. Requires a COO with an office. Alright, so we basically just need to build... We basically just need to build an office for our dear COO. Which is fine. We can do that reasonably easily. Yeah, it's okay. Zones. Office. Excellent. Objects. Desk. Office desk. Chair. Office chair. Wonderful. Good stuff. Let's go. Let's get it done. 
Let's also get a door. Brilliant. Okay, are we are we doing are we doing okay? We're doing okay financially. I know we spent a large amount of money, but I think that we can just about survive. Let's hire our admin staff. What did I say we needed? A COO? Yeah, COO. Excellent. Chief technology officer. We've already got a chief technology officer. Sales rep. We don't have any sales rep. A VP of finance. And a construction foreman. All of which we need. But that is... That is fine. Give me upgraded buses. Excellent. Thank you very, very much. We require a... A dude with an office, a COO with an office, Krisha Z. Literally Z. Spelt. Spelt like you say it. We got a toolbox. Must be in a functional maintenance zone. What the heck is a functional maintenance zone? Maintenance. Minimum size of 5x5. Five five. Okay, well, a functional maintenance zone is it's going to be that large, I guess. Minimum size of 5x5. Five five. That's that's it. Okay, we've got a functional maintenance zone. The uh, the next issue is going to be the fact that we just don't have anywhere near enough security scanners and metal detectors. What the heck is wrong with you? Missed flight? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, I suspect that we're going to start upsetting... We're going to start upsetting the airlines because their passengers ain't able to get through. I mean, this Boeing 737 has got 61 passengers that are loading. I presume that as we get better relations with the airlines, then we are just going to get more passengers, and that puts more strain on our system. Either way, I think we're going to have to explore the strains on the system in the next episode, because that is it for now. A very, very successful first episode of, uh, of Sim Airport, if I do say so myself. Thank you very much for watching, as ever, folks. The support on the Patreon recently has been absolutely tremendous, and I just wanted to say... Thank you to absolutely every one of you that supports me over there. Also, thanks to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the two $25 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.